Okay, so next we look at ensemble methods and this is just to build the intuitions for something known as dropout which is very popular technique in uh, deep neural networks and convolutional neural networks and even recurrent neural networks. Okay. So how many have seen ensembles before? You have seen it in machine learning. Ensemble was not done in machine learning? Done right? Okay. Ravi did it. So the combine, okay. so the ensemble is essentially just the combining the output of different models to reduce the generalization error, right? Why does that make sense? You have these different models, all of these would have different biases and variances, right? So now you are combining them, so we'll end up with a better thing on the test error, right? So that's the idea behind ensembles. Now the models could correspond to different classifiers, right? For example, here I have a logistic regression, an SVM, and a naive base. I've trained them independently using the same data or different subsets of the data. And at test time, I am taking a prediction from all of them and then taking an ensemble of those predictions. Right? That is the basic idea. Now, it could be different instances of the same classifier trained with different hyperparameters. So, I could have the same neural network, a three layered neural network, but trained with different hyperparameters. So, the hyperparameters could be learning rate, it could be batch size, it could be the number of neurons in each layer, and so on. Right? So, it could be same classifier but different hyperparameters, different features. right? So instead of looking at all the 100 features that I have given, I could train these classifiers with different subsets of the features, okay, or different samples of the training data. So bagging is one such ensemble method where you have different instances of the same classifier which are trained on different samples of the training data, okay. So I have one classifier is trained on a subset T1 of the training data, another classifier trained on a subset T2 of the training data, and so on, right, right. And so each of these models is trained with a different sample of the data. Now, when would bagging actually work? What would you want these classifiers to be? So each classifier is going to make certain errors. Okay. What do you want these errors across classifiers to be? Dependent, independent. Independent, right? So if one classifier makes errors on certain test instances, other classifier makes errors on a different set of test instances, and the third classifier makes errors on a very different set of test instances. That is the condition that you are looking for, right. There are errors, if all of them make error on the same instance, then all of them are collectively going to make an error on the final prediction also, right. Because it is like I asked three guys, all of them gave me the wrong answer, so my final answer is going to be wrong. But if at least two of these three guys gave me the correct answer, then my final answer is going to be correct, right. So that means the errors that these models make, I want these errors to be independent, okay. If I treat error as a random variable, I want these errors to be independent. Okay. So, so consider a set of k such logistic regression models. Suppose that each model makes an error epsilon i on the test example. Now let epsilon i be drawn from a zero mean multimediate normal distribution. So the variance is equal to v and how many such epsilons do I have? How many such distributions I am considering? k. Right, because for each classifier there is a distribution. So then I can compute the covariance between these random variables, okay, and let that let that covariance be c. Is that fine? Okay. Now the true error, the error made by the average prediction of all the models is going to be given by this. Model one made an error of epsilon one. Model two made an error of epsilon two. So the average error is going to be given by this. Okay. Now what's this expected squared error? This is the error, this is the expectation, this is the square, okay. That is the expected squared error, is that fine? Again, this is a square of a sum. So it will lead to a lot of terms of the form, epsilon i squares and what will happen now? Which terms will go to 0, okay. The terms having epsilon i, epsilon j, again the same thing, they are independent. So I can write the expectation of a product as the product of expectations and those expectations are 0. Uh, so this is what it is going to look like. What is this? Oh sorry, actually we had not assumed that the covariance was zero. Sorry, sorry, right. Yeah. What is this? Right? And what is this? Covariance. And sorry, I had not we had assumed that there is some covariance, right? We had not assumed they are independent, right? Uh, we would want it to be independent, but in the general case we'll assume some covariance and then I'll show you the special case where they are independent. So then how many V's do I have here? K, 
right? And how many C's do I have here? This summation is k into k minus 1, right? For i equal to 1 to k and j equal to i plus 1 to k, okay? Fine. And so this is what it looks like. Now, can you make some inferences from this equation? This is what the expected mean square error is going to be. Now, think in terms of variance, covariance, and tell me when would this be beneficial? I have already told you the answer. If the errors are independent, what would covariance be? 0, right? So, then what is the mean square error? 1 by k, 1 by k into v, right? So, that means bagging would work when your classifiers, the k classifiers that you are combining, if their errors are independent, then the mean square error should actually have been v, right? For a single classifier, it was v, right? Because mean square error is nothing but the expectation of the error, uh, expectation of epsilon i square, which is nothing but v. But if you are, uh, if you are combining k classifiers and if these classifiers are independent in terms of their errors, then your mean square error is going to be 1 by k into v because this term is going to disappear, okay? Now, if your uh, classifiers are perfectly correlated, then what would happen? Then basically c is equal to v, right? Is that fine? So now what would happen? What is the net result if I substitute this as v? It's going to be v, right? So if you are all your classifiers are perfectly correlated, that's the other case where I had taken that all of them are making errors on the same test instances and the same errors, right? Then you will not get any benefit of doing bagging. But if you look at the other extreme where all your errors are independent or all your classifiers are making independent errors, then you will get a benefit. Your expected mean square error would go down from v to 1 by k into v. Everyone gets that? So, this was just to develop an intuition that taking an ensemble helps, right? And using this intuition, now we are going to see at how to do this ensemble in the case of deep neural networks, okay?